The other race on the men's side, before we hop over the women on the mid distance side of things, that's obviously going to attract a lot of interest is the 15 uh, Hawker. You have number one, Nagoose to Sam Tanner, who people forget about Sam Tanner because he went out in the first round uh, indoors, but ran um, the equivalent, you know, equivalent just as fast or whatever, just a little bit faster than um, Hawker and Tier did when he ran that 1500 indoors um do you think this is a three-person race do you think this is a two-person race do you think it's a one-person race is this is this hawkers to lose how would you handicap no i think it's 15? i think it's a three i think it's a three-person race i think hawker Nagoose, and tanner are very similar i think you got to give credit to hawker because he hasn't shown a reason to not to be picked number one um but mm-hmm. if hawker wins it'll be like yeah that makes sense if Nagoose wins, we'll be like, yeah, that makes sense. He, he's 2019 champ. He did cross country yeah. instead of indoor, and he clearly is the best 1,500-meter runner. And then if Sam Tanner wins, we'll be like, well, that also makes sense. He kind of was under the radar. He was in international fields uh, instead of in the college races. He's a 334 guy, and he just had bad luck in, in the indoor mile. He clearly is the best. He just had bad luck. So – if either of those three win, we're all going to respond with, that makes sense, and here's why. If now someone else yeah. wins, like a Suleiman or BYU's Lucas Bonds or Ilya Kipsang or Mario Garcia Romo or I don't know who else, Festus Legat or something like that, then we'll be like, wait a minute, this doesn't make sense. But right now, yeah. Hawker, Nagus, and Tanner are my top three. Hawker has the championships, and he also has the, the fast times. Nagus has a bunch of championships, but he doesn't have that sh- sparkling PR that matches up, which does, it doesn't really matter unless you're talking about, okay, we need, he needs to get an Olympic qualifier, knocked out of the way. And then Tanner's got the time, but not the championship result that you would hang your hat on. From that perspective, okay, let's, let's favor Hawker, but Nagus is just such a gamer when it, when it comes to it. That's going to be a, that's going to be a real fun one. Not as deep as the five, the 5,000, but that's going to be so fun to watch just to see those, those three. Um, is there a chance? Cause Christian keeps bringing up, uh, or someone in the chat was bringing up tier in the mile or 15. Do you think tier would run the 15? Seeing as how he beat Hawker has a collegiate record in the mile indoors. I mean, what's the schedule like? Well, it's you know the, the same as it always is. It's not well, much time. I mean, the, you go. You, how close is the fifty? Men, women, men, women. Okay. Oh, no, you don't. I'm not saying he's in a double. I'm. I'm saying fifteen instead of the five. Oh, no, he's not gonna do that. Why would they do that? Then they have no one in the five. It's, nah, you don't. You don't. They have. They have Reed Brown and they have James West all in the fifteen. They're gonna put Reed Brown, James West, and Hawker in the fifteen, and then whoever else, and then Charlie Hunter will be in the eight. And Lewis Perhalta, and then they'll put everyone else and their mom in the fives and tens. So mm-hmm. I think I you think you're out. thinking There's from no a way tier runs You're thinking from a team perspective. You're thinking from a yeah. team perspective. Try to win as many, rack up as many points as as possible. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, I I don't think the fifteen five double. Like in many ways, the five ten double would make more sense than the than the fifteen five because yeah. you're not running rounds and you're not running two finals on the same the same day.